Hello guys, how are you doing? My name is Winfred and you're welcome to my channel where it's all about easy meals at home. Today is not any different. We are making pineapple dessert. You can have it as a dessert, you can have it as a treat. With such in such an easy way do you have that pineapple i got myself this one as you can see it's all ready and good to use so join me see how i turn it into a delicious dessert you turn on your heat i'm going to use this rack it's optional if there's a way you can do it without the rack go ahead and try i'm going to do mine with the Rack. You can start off roasting by sitting your pineapple on like this and holding it steady first so that it can cook on that side as well. And once you see that it has browned, you go ahead and flip it to another side. Guys, anytime you roast a pineapple, the taste changes. It's just niceness. So go ahead and try it. Now I've finished that bit. I'm going to put it on the side as well. The reason I'm using the rack is because I I want to make it easy. But if you have a charcoal stove, go ahead and use a charcoal stove. Put a rack like that one and go on and roast your pineapple. Once you're happy with the color, go ahead and take it off and let it cool before you work with it further. Now our pineapple is finished roasting. As you can see, it's gotten this black bit. So the aromas have already pulled through. Go ahead and peel. It is hot inside. As you can see, there is steam in there. But you go ahead and let it cool. And then you can work with it. Now I'm going to go on and remove all the eyes because I don't want to see them on my dessert or my pineapple roast. So you can go ahead and remove them as well. Now I've finished peeling my pineapple. I'm going to do just a little bit of design in there. I like how it presents itself when you've done this to it. And you don't, there's no wasting because you know that you can make pineapple juice out of your pineapples. So whatever you're cutting off, including the peels, can always be used. So go ahead and do this. Now what I'm doing is cutting through, but not all the way. Just to design up our pineapple so that when I'm serving, it doesn't come off plain. So go ahead and small make thin slicings that will give you a good finish at the end of the day. Now, there are so many things you can do with pineapple peelings. Like if you can check in the archives, there's a video that I made about pineapple juice. These peels can be used as well to make pineapple juice, including all the cuttings that I'm taking out of this. So you can go ahead and enjoy your pineapple and still have the juice out of it. Now, this is how mine would look at the end of the day, area of view. But once you have done this, then you can go ahead and design it or slice it. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Thin slicings. This is where all our our cuttings come in. If you did a good job at the cuttings, you definitely have some nice shapes at the end of the day. Something like this. But because the pineapple has been roasted, it's dripping with all these juices. So you need somewhere to drain your juice as you're cutting these through. Now, on a clean tray, I'm going to get my pineapple slices, like this. This is where all the cuttings that we've been doing come in. Now, to this, I'm going to add some paprika. This will help with the color. 
Now this is a quarter a teaspoon. I'm going to sprinkle all over. And then I'm going to also add some black pepper and sea salt. This is my sea salt I'm adding to it. I'm using sea salt because it's healthy, but also it is not too salty. Most of it will end up staying on here at the end of the day. It's healthy. It softens the pineapples. So I'm going to rub this with some black pepper as well. And the taste will be amazing. As you can see, that is all we are going to work with. And then we smear the rest of our ingredients on here. And then I'm going to add more paprika. This you're going to use your hands because if you use the brush, it may not be able to get the salts. Remember it's sea salt plus the rest of our ingredients on there very well. So you need to get your hands in there if you want good results. And then you heat your pan up, time to get roasting. Now I've put my pan on heat and I'm just going to put the pineapples on there. As you can see, there is no oil, so I'm literally just roasting. Remember it's black pepper, it's paprika, and it's our sea salt. You can put as many as can fit on your pan and let it sit. That's the aromas that will come, the taste guys will tickle your taste buds because of the pineapple roast. Now after like two minutes or three, the black pepper will have been absorbed by the pineapple and the paprika plus the sea salt. Go ahead and try and flip them up. They should have a nice golden color and that aroma of pineapple starts filling up the room and before you know it, you have a whole new line filling up to get whatever it is you're cooking. You do this to all your pineapples and once you have a nice golden color, go ahead and take off. Now my pineapples are ready to take off. I'm going to take them off and then I'll show you how I'll serve them. Now guys, that is how our pineapple roast would turn out as and that's how it would be served. Best served hot, warm. So go ahead and try it at home. Until next time, thank you for watching and subscribing. Bye bye and God bless.